Hey. Fuck. Line? Oh. I'm alone. Okay, uh... Good, let's just, uh, reset. Then. <clears throat> hey, I'm Christopher Baker. I'm an actor, writer, director, production designer, uh, producer, composer, makeup artist. And, uh, I do some special effects as well. Practical, mostly. Uh, we got some fishing line right here. And then red cup, recycled from last night. You're welcome, Earth. Um, other than that, I, um, I do some location managing and some intimacy coordination. Uh, you'll see. I'm not trying to brag, I'm just giving some information right off the top here. Mm. Just trying to get to know each other a little better, networking and all that. Uh, so, what have I been up to recently? Um, lately, I have been... You know, I have been doing a lot better. I recently I've been I've been less depressed I think I, I don't know if that's what you're asking but I've been having a lot more energy in my day to day and uh, I've been doing a lot better with my my focus yeah It's not real whiskey. It's iced tea, I just fucking hate it. I wish I could just give myself real whiskey, but then what kind of a performer would I be, am I right? <clears throat> so, um, a recent discovery that I've made. Uh, have you heard of the uh, Messiah Complex? So, when I have to take this. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not busy, not working or anything like that. No, no, no. Why? Uh huh. What do you mean boring? Well, I hate to break it to you, but I think you're pretty fucking boring yourself. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Thank you so much, mom. Oh my god. Thanks. Yeah. No, I was waiting for some artistic advice from someone who just watches Netflix shows and reads fucking Dan Brown novels all day. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking joking right now? No, what I'm saying is you are fucking old and you have no fucking say in the matter whatsoever. Okay? Yeah, I don't give a... Fuck. Line? Oh. I mean, let's just cut the bullshit here. I mean, this isn't real. My mom's not on the phone. It's all been a lie. Um, I would never talk to my mom like that. And I would definitely never talk to her without knowing my fucking lines first, so that's for sure. So let's just, let's just get real here, okay? Okay? A recent discovery that I've made. The Messiah Complex. Okay, so it means 
that someone literally thinks that they are Jesus fucking Christ. Okay? So, um, I didn't fact check this, but a friend of mine told me he's really reliable, and um, I think it's really interesting, so I'm just going to tell you. So, there was this experiment, yeah? There was this experiment where they took five people who all thought that they were Jesus fucking Christ, and they put them in a room together. Okay? And then, what you would think would happen is that they would maybe slowly figure out Oh, there's like four un other Jesuses around. Maybe I'm not Jesus. But what actually happened was they all had the same response. That response being, I, they were all like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like, what the fuck am I doing in a room with all these fucking lunatics that think that they're Jesus Christ. And I know for a fact that they must be insane because they can't be Jesus. Because I'm Jesus. So yeah, that's pretty fucking wild. And I'm not saying that I think that I, I'm Jesus. Like, I know that I'm not Jesus. But that doesn't mean I don't strive to be. Fuck, I keep forgetting my fucking lines, like, I wrote this script word for word, and I don't know, I guess, well, I guess this is the first time I'm doing any of this material, and I've never said any of these words before, so I do apologize if I fuck up from time to time. Fuck, I keep forgetting my fucking lines. Like, I wrote this script word for word, and I don't know. I guess, I guess this is the first time I'm doing this material, and I guess I've never said any of these words before, but, so I do apologize if I fuck up every now and then. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. The first time I said from time to time, and then the second time, instead of saying from time to time, the second time, I said every now and then like a fucking dumbass. You know, I tried to be clever for once in my fucking life, and I fucked that up too. Fucking idiot, man. Holy shit. Fuck me. Uh, I'm really sorry about that guys I'm so sorry um, I thought I could do this but I'm just fucking useless right now so I'm just really fucking useless so here's what we're gonna do okay we're just gonna skip to the end and by like the end, I mean the end. Like death. Like plain old simple ass death. As in, I'm gonna kill myself. I'm just gonna do it. No trigger warning or nothing. And I'm sorry that you have to watch that. But you are in luck. Because while I prepare for said death, I'm gonna tell you guys a crazy fucking story. How about that? Okay, so I was in Amsterdam with my uncle. And, um, you know, it's, it's our first time there. So we're doing all the standard stuff. We're doing all the basic Amsterdam stuff. Like, you know, we want to see the cobblestone streets. We want to see like the canals, shit like that. Um, so maybe like get a bike, like ride around. So uh, we leave early in the morning. And uh, I think we're about like 15 minutes out at that point from the hotel. And then uh, the sun starts hitting my face and uh, that's when I realized, oh my god. I mean, that's when I realized 
that stupid old me has left their sunglasses back at the hotel. So I'm like torn. I'm like, what do I do? Do I do I go back and get them? Do I just power through? But I figured I, like I figured we'd be out all day. So I, I really wouldn't want to not have them. Like I'd be squinting all day and that's just gonna, you know, that's gonna fuck up my face. And let's be real, that's the money maker right there. So um what I do, I decide I'm gonna go back and get them. <laughs> so I walk all the way back. I walk all the way back to the hotel, 15 minutes at least. And then I get there and I ransack the entire place. I'm like, I need to find these sunglasses and I can't find them to save my fucking life. It's like, what the fuck? So I give up eventually. I give up. And I get back outside. <laughs> so I get back outside. And then my uncle finally asked me like, uh, what is it that you're looking for? And I'm like, uh, my sunglasses. And then guess what? Guess where they were? <laughs> they were on my head the entire fucking time. Like Chris Baker style right here for like half an hour and like wasted like half an hour of our trip. I mean, it's so fucking crazy. And that's not even, I mean, that's not even the craziest thing that happened like on that trip. That same night, my uncle got like robbed and stabbed to death. <laughs> like, it's just, okay. What I'm trying to get at is crazy things can happen. You just, you just gotta, I don't know, you just gotta leave your comfort zone every now and then, you know what I'm saying? I do recommend that. How do I look? It's pretty solid. So, um... Okay, uh... So I'm Chris Baker, and um, fuck, line. Oh, uh, I guess this is it. Bye.
Nailed it.